الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن شاء الله maybe we'll read briefly إن شاء الله تعالى the remaining of what we have left of last week which is a دليل على أركان الإيمان from the proofs and evidence in regard to showing the arkan of al-iman meaning the pillars of al-iman here the term dalil meaning evidence alhamdulillah it shows that everything that the muslim do it is to be based upon evidence and evidence cannot be what you feel like or what you think or the perception that you have about a matter but it ho- always have to boil back to allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and how the companion of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam they have they have done so so here after examining the the, the arkan of al-iman we mentioned that the arkan of al-iman they are of six here he is bringing about what is the dalil of his statement and after we went also in every single pillar of the of al-iman he mentioned what dalil ala hadhihi arkan sitta والدليل على هذه الأركان الستة قوله تعالى and the dalil meaning the evidence the proof and evidence upon the statement of the pillars of al-iman they are such as the statement of Allah سبحانه وتعالى ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم قبل المشرق والمغرب ولكن البر من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر والملائكة والكتاب والنبيين in سورة البقرة verse number 177 الله سبحانه وتعالى mention ليس البر it is not of righteousness أن تولوا وجوهكم that you will turn your faces قبل المشرق والمغرب that you turn your faces to the east or to the west that is not what is righteousness that you face this way or face that way ولكن البر but rather what is of righteousness is man amana billahi it is to believe in allah to believe in the akhirah the last day wal malaika and to believe in the angels wal kitab and to believe in the book wal nabiyin and to believe in the prophets and messengers and here this verse barakallahu fikum maybe it came it comes alhamdulillah right on time because with the issues that people today they be having in regard to Jerusalem being the capital of the land of Israel and the like of this we have a lot of people just running their mouth in regard to that demonstrating as you find muslims they are demonstrating because that the land of Israel is claiming that its capital is Jerusalem now you find muslim all over the world being demonstrating sittings and the likes of this for what purpose it is not what is important barakallahu fi a place itself but rather the belief that we have this is what is important a land is not barakallahu fi going to stand up and defend islam it's in, it's not a structure that will be barakallahu fi kum that will stand up and defend the religion but rather barakallahu fi kum what is al birr what is important is man amana billah the belief that the people have that's what makes the difference it doesn't make the difference who agrees and who doesn't agree it doesn't make the difference that the uh, is a uh, jerusalem is the capital or tel aviv it doesn't make no difference what difference does it make but what is important barakallahu fi for the believers is how much they are arruju ila allah how much they return into allah how much they return into the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam If the person you're fighting and you look alike do the same thing then what you fighting against what is the fight about then if the person that you have in front of you he you throwing rocks he you know throwing grenades if you doing the same thing you celebrating the same thing then what is that the fight about what is that fight about if you look the same what the fight about if he smoke a cigarette you smoke a cigarette if he shave the beard you shave the beard then what is that fight about ya yeah? but rather barakallahu fik what is important is walakin al birr but what is the belief what is righteousness is man amana billah is that the belief that the person has and the person has that belief in allah and believing in the akhirah 
believing in the akhirah. And any time, as we mentioned, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala connect the belief in Allah and the akhirah, what comes after is actions. Any time that belief in Allah is linked with the belief in the hereafter, what we are being taken, what we are being asked to take heed of is action that is to be brought forth. Not about just a word, you know, uh, what you call a lip service. No, but rather action. So anytime that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam mention or join together al-imanu billah wal yawmil akhir knows what comes after it is actions. And sincere actions. And it's not about no lip service. It's not about no sittings, no uh, pro, 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 what you call it, no uh, and having some mudaharat, right? All over the world, if you were following the news, all over the world, people in different Muslim countries, oh, we are protesting because the president of such and such country is agreeing with is Jerusalem being the, being the capital of the land of Israel. Alhamdulillah. What would change the matters, when we change the matters, is not about what is the capital of what, but rather what change the matters is a ruju ila deen al Islam. Hatta ila dinikum, as the hadith mentioned. You say, up until you return back to your religion. This is when the victory will happen. But it's not a, the victory is not linked with weaponry. It's not linked with how many men you have. It's not linked with all of that. It's linked only how much, how strong you are in your religion. Look at what happened in Badr. They were smaller in numbers. Smaller in, in everything. Smaller in cavalry, in smaller in weapons, smaller in mounts, smaller in ammunition, smaller in everything. But yet, who, who, was the, who was the winner? The believers. The believers. But what caused them to win? The belief that they had in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah will aid them. وَلَا يَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهَ مَنْ يَنْصُرُ وَلَا يَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُ That indeed Allah will aid those who aid him. And how do we aid the deen of Allah? How do we aid Allah except to aid his deen? So the aid of Allah, it doesn't depend how many people you have. It doesn't depend how many strategic you have. It doesn't depend on how many weapons we have. But rather the help of Allah only depends on how much you believe in Allah. So the person's success in regard to the religion is not about how much he has studied, but rather how much he believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we say belief, it comprises words, action, and belief of the heart. Tayyip, so he mentioned Hafidahullah. Now we mentioned about the word, the meaning of al birr The meaning of al birr he mentioned fal birr wa taqwa min al asma al amma allati tujma'u kullu. Khisal al Khair. Right? He said the word al birr, righteousness or piety. In the word taqwa, the word taqwa, fear, fear of Allah, having fear of Allah, having piety, having faith. He said these are words that are general. Meaning these are words that are general that could be inclusive of every type of good that the person can achieve. Right? So, min kulli khisal al khair from every means or every points of doing something good that you will call it al birr. So that alhamdulillah shows that a person can be pleasing to Allah in something that is very simple and easy. Simple and easy. Wa qawluhu ta'ala in the statement of Allah لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا وُجُوهَكُمْ قِبَلَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ هَذَا رَدٌ عَلَى الْيَهُودِ الَّذِينَ إِسْتَنْكَرُوا تحويل القبلة من بيت المقدس من بيت المقدس إلى الكعبة المشرف. He mentioned حفظه الله شيخ 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 فوزان. He said that this verse was a refutation against the Yahud because the Yahud they denied the changing of the Qibla, right? The direction of the Salah. They denied. They were not pleased. Istankaru. They deny. They were mad about the changing of the direction of the Qibla from Jerusalem to the, to the Kaaba. From Jerusalem to the Kaaba. Now look, this is to show you, Barakallah Fikum. Right? Once the Qibla was where? 
was in Jerusalem. Right? In the same state, state that the people are fighting about. Taking it as a capital or not a capital. This and the third. All this bickering about this. And subhanallah al-azim. If you understand that the solution for our problem. Could have been just having our ranks in the salah to be tight and straight. If you understand that our situation for our problems could be only could be only that we are differing in the ranks. Inna Allah lu yuhibbu alladheena yuqatiluna fi sabilihi ka'annahum bunyanun marsus. Now look even in jihad they have to be what? They have to be straight in the lines. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to make the lines in jihad though in jihad he used to be making the line straight just like how he would make it in the salah now if the people today they pray one is standing in here one other one standing in north if you put try to put your shoulders next to the person or your feet next to the person he run away from you then what is the problem that these guys they taking this land as theirs we are the cause of it so he mentioned Hafizahullah. He said, Istankaru hadha wa jahaduhu ma'al ilma annahum ya'lamuna annahu haq. So the Yahud, they deny. They were envious about this. Istankaru, they hated it. The fact that the Qibla was changed from Jerusalem to Medina. Ma'adhira, from Mac to Mecca. Ma'adhira, Mecca. It was changed from Jerusalem to Mecca. And they had knowledge of its truth. They knew that this was done right. And they knew this was going to come. Because it was in their books. But because it was not in, favor, in, in their favors, quote unquote, they deny it. Just like they deny the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And yet they used to say what? That the prophet that will come, he will come and we will be with him and we will fight you. This is what they used to say to the kuffar of the Quraysh. But when the prophet sallallahu came and he was not from them. Now this is the term that they took, a 360 degree turn that they had. And have enmity against him. Because of barakallah fikum hasadan lin nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wal inad. And he said, this is min bab al-ilan, wal-mukabara, wal-hasad lil-nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa lihaadhi al-ummah. And this is because of having stubbornness and having, yani, oughtiness and envy to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to the believer of this ummah. Because indeed Allah chose the best prophet for this ummah. Just like he chose the best day for this ummah. He chose the best prophet for this ummah. Just like he chose the best day for this ummah. When people, they were taking Saturdays and Sundays as their day of, as their day of worship, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Friday to the Muslims. Gave Friday to the Muslims. And look, Friday we are first. We are first. In the days we are first. And likewise in the Dukhulul Jannah. The ummah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa will enter first before any other ummah. Before any other ummah. Nahnu al-akhirun. We are the last in this life. But we are the first in yawm al-qiyamah. Meaning we are the last ummah. But we will be the first ummah to enter the paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me and you to be from those who will enter the paradise. Without any reckoning and without any punishment. Ameen. And granted to our parents. Ameen. يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى as Allah سبحانه وتعالى he mentioned ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم قبل المشرق معذرة he say ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم he say جهت من الجهات من غير أمر من غير من غير